Hey, what's up, Urban Mystics? It's Unique Divination, and I am here with another celebrity reading. So, somebody asked me to do Harry Styles, so I said, let me go ahead and do Harry Styles, okay? Um, I'm not good with birthdays, and I didn't even look it up. I don't have my iPad. I'm gonna let y'all tell me what his birthday is. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the reading. If y'all wanna know why I don't look up birthdays, I just, I tried to know as less information as possible about the person I'm looking up. That way, it's kind of like, you know, authentic. The reading, it's not really, because you can look up anything, but I choose not to, so. All right. Y'all let me know what his sign is, what his birthday is, whatever y'all know. I'm pretty sure y'all will tell me. So what does Harry Styles have in store? What's in his energy? Let's see. I think, wasn't he the one that just had on that dress and there was like a whole bunch of controversy? That was a beautiful dress. That's all I'm going to say about that. That was a very nice dress. I was feeling the dress. Definitely feeling the dress. Harry, what's going on in your life? I don't know. What's going on with Harry's life right now? I'll start off with these at first. I've got Eight of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. King of Swords. I feel like this is a relationship. I don't know who he's in a relationship with. I don't even know if it's a man or a woman at this point. And I'm not trying to be funny, but I did see him in that dress, so I don't, I don't know where he's going with that. So I don't know. Um, but... I feel like if he is in a relationship, it's almost an abusive relationship. Um, Lord of Prudence. This has Virgo on here. This has Gemini on here. And then King of Swords has Capricorn and Aquarius on here. Reverse. So Lord of Prudence, Eight of Pentacles. I feel like... Well, hold on. Let me pull another card to go with this Lord of Prudence because I really don't understand. Okay, so now it's making more sense. So I just pulled the Queen of Swords reversed, and then I have the King of Swords reversed. So I don't know. This is either this is either him and somebody in a relationship, or it could be parents, family members. It could be possibly parents. Um, so there's some serious conflict with this queen of swords and this king of swords the queen is virgo on here virgo also shows up on the pinnacle so whoever this virgo is he is just not really getting along with them it could possibly be a female like i said it's either a mother or it's his significant other right and ten of swords Lord of Ruin. So whatever this family issue is or romantic issue is, it's really kind of holding him back from really concentrating on anything else. Like it's taking up all his focus. King of Swords versed. Um, communication is definitely off, which is messing with his timing, which is messing with his money. We got Capricorn on here. Aquarius, um, it's making him selfish because he's very defensive in this situation and it's making him feel like really not worry like he really doesn't need to worry or care about anybody else but himself um and that's not really a good space to be at but that's where he is right now and then i also just pulled the death card reverse um which is understandable with all this drama going on it's preventing him from going through a shift that he's supposed to be going through right now um Scorpio's on this card. He's supposed to be going through this great transformation, spiritual, emotional transformation. And it's kind of being thwarted and affected by this uh, Queen of Swords and this King of Swords, right? So I, I'm thinking it's mom and dad, King and Queen, mom and dad. Um, I don't know if for whatever reason they're not seeing eye to eye. I hope it's not because he had that dress on. <laughs> I really not. I really hope it's not because he had that dress on, right? Um. So, I just pulled this card, but it came up reverse. This is Fortitude. Leo is on here. Um, 
he's defensive. It's this situation. I'm, I'm assuming it's his parents, you know, and if it's not his parents, then it's some type of parental figures. Um, but it's just, I don't know. He just, it's got him feeling defensive. Um, very extremely territorial, just not really in a good space. So this is, this is not a good reading. Um, again, Scorpio pops up and Sagittarius, so he's going to have to move forward with, uh, whatever issues that he has with his family and just, I don't think it can be resolved right now. I think whatever it is, is too deep and it, it cuts too deep and he just needs to move forward. If he just doesn't move forward, maybe come back around later on to kind of address the situation, but it's not going to do any good right now. Um, he feels the way he does. The parents feel the way that they do. And it's pretty much not going to change. Okay, so that's the only thing I can get from that. This is not a good reading. I'm so sorry. Harry Styles, if you ever see this, I hope everything's okay with you and your parents. I hope you guys are able to work through whatever issues y'all got going on. Um, but it's very deep. This card is called Lord of Ruin. You know what I mean? And we have to look at things for face value. Um, and 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 see everything just put everything on the table and deal with it and right now harry styles you're not equipped emotionally equipped and physically equipped to deal with these issues okay so just kind of take a break walk away and you know regroup at a later time um so that we can get this death card reversed upright so you can start your next stage of evolution okay all right, so this concludes the reading for Harry Styles. Please like, share, and subscribe, okay? Make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for your support, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.